Well, can you name Iowa's richest man? Well, this guy sitting next to me can <laughs> because he met him. Up very early this morning, Todd. Welcome to uh, our. Yes, it is very early. <laughs> yeah. But I'm actually happy to be here because we have a pretty cool story to tell. Sounds like about really not just any Iowa farmer, a farmer with a lot of money. That's right. Uh, this guy uh, is uh, on the list of Forbes magazine's uh, richest uh, people mm -hmm. in every state. And this year, it's an Iowa farmer. He's from Adel. Mm -hmm. uh, you probably never heard of him if you don't go out there. Uh, his name is Harry Stein. Uh, he is a, basically a, a runs his family business there. It's called the Stein Seed Company. And if you don't live in Adel, you probably haven't heard of him. You know, I don't interview a lot of billionaires. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the first <laughs> one. Right? Uh, he was nice enough to let us come out, talk to him, and really just an absolutely fascinating man. And he really tells an amazing story. His company headquarters is in sort of a rural area on the farm where he grew up in Adel. He was dirt poor as a kid. Uh, of course, he's no longer no. poor. <laughs> Very rich Far now. It. it turns out he has a knack for hybridizing seeds. So he has actually grown his company into the largest private family seed company in the United States. Uh, and of course, now Forbes magazine says he's worth, get this, mm -hmm. $3 billion. Yikes. So, of course, I asked him <sighs> sure. what it's like to be a billionaire. Mm -hmm. It's kind of the way you keep score to see how successful you're being. Uh, but frankly, you're going to give it to charities and what have you anyway at the end of the game. Uh, so it's just a scorekeeping method. It's a big score. Yes. And uh, what's really interesting about Stein, he says he is actually repulsed by people who show off all their expensive things. So he drives, as you can see there, just a pickup truck, lives yeah. in a modest house at the farm, doesn't act like you would think a billionaire does. Uh -huh. wow. uh, he also had overcome two really unusual personal problems that you might think would actually prevent him from becoming successful, but we'll explore that, kind of tell you about that mm -hmm. coming up tonight at so 10. How does actually hybridizing seeds make one a billionaire? Well, he sells seeds, of course, that they grow in Iowa and also mm -hmm. in South America, but they sell a license to these seeds. Mm -hmm. And companies all over the United States, about two thirds of all the soybeans that are grown belong to him. So every time one's bought, he gets a fee, and that's how you become that a billionaire. That is hard to fathom. It yeah. can add up pretty fast. Wow. Yeah. Well, very <laughs> fascinating stuff. So be sure to watch Seeds of Success tonight on KCCI 8 News at 10. And thanks so much, Todd, for coming in. We'll see you tonight. Good to see you. <laughs>